everybody, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, I'm Lauren. I hope that you're all staying healthy and safe and well. Today's video is an unboxing. This is a massive box. Ooh, that match has sent me. There's two items in here. Um, and they sent me this like ginormous box, which I mean, it's gorgeous. <laughs> but does it need to be this big? Probably not. Um, so I received this yesterday. It's Friday. It is 4.44 make a wish don't you make a wish when all the three numbers are the same i think you do or is that only at 11 11. i'm not sure anyway um it's almost 5 p.m so i'm busting this out after work i'm super tired but i just need to do this so i received this yesterday i ordered it on tuesday it came on thursday which is insane matches their shipping is crazy and I should also mention that I did get 15% off. Someone had used my referral link and anytime someone uses my referral link successfully, um, I get 15% off as well. And it's often a really good discount because there's not a lot of brand exclusions with it. So I know some people have been trying to use my referral code and it doesn't always work. It's because Matches gives me like a limited number, I think yearly um, or even monthly, I think they change it. So sometimes people get lucky and get things and other times, like I just run out of code, so I'm really sorry. But I did take a peek in here and um, I'm gonna show you the two items. One item is like a little bit of a letdown, I'm not gonna lie. And it's my fault because I ordered the wrong thing, um, but I was super excited about it. So let's open up this giant box here. And then this is my receipt. So I can let you know how much it costs. So matches is really cool. I tend to always order from matches if you haven't already. So first of all, they're, you get money back on Rakuten, which is really cool. Um, <clears throat> one time I think it was 8% back, which is insane. But the other thing is, so they ship from, I think it's, so they ship from the UK. And if, when you go on, so I live in Canada, everything is included in the final number. So your duties as well as, um, the shipping and everything is included. So what you see is essentially what you pay. It does show in US dollars, so you do need to make that conversion, but I really like the fact that, you know, you're not, you know, picking up your item at FedEx or UPS or whatever, and then there's extra duties on top of that. So that's a good thing about matches. So the first item that I picked up is by Loewe. So you know, well, if you watch my channel, then you know I love Loewe. I have the puzzle bag. I've had it now for about two or three years and I recently just picked up the tea pouch and I love it. I love the quality. I love sort of like the minimalist design. Sorry, I'm like, I have hair on my face somewhere. Um, and I like that it's a little bit understated. So I finally jumped on the whole basket bag trend. I know I'm a little bit late to the game, but I thought for the summer I wanted something nice and light. I didn't necessarily want to carry sort of my leather handbags around. So. Um, when I got 15% off at matches, I was like, this is the perfect time to invest in something a little wave, eh? And this is a brand new style. Uh, it's new to their website. It's new to, it's new to matches as well as essence, as well as the actual like the wave site. And this is the one that is a little bit of a letdown because of me. So let me just show you it first. It's so, it's so cute. It's honestly so cute, but it's just not what I thought it would be. So this is new. There's like two dust bags in one. So this is it right here. So cute, adorable, tiny. I thought I was getting the larger size. I don't know what I was thinking. Um, I met, I read the measurements wrong and I just thought that I was getting the larger size of this. So this is called the, so it's La Vueve by Paula Biza or the collab by Paula Biza's. Um, anagram small basket bag. It's an Erica palm with calf tan, I guess. Oh, the, the leather logo. Um, what's really cool about this, what I was reading up on it is that it's woven by women in Colombia from Erica palm, which is supposed to be like very hardy and, um, wear really well. And it basically provides, uh, opportunities for their own financial independence, which was so cool. It is so cute. Like I showed this to two of my friends. One is Antonia, who's Hello Harley here on um, YouTube. And she was like, oh my God, so cute. But she's like, it's literally a hat. Like put it on your head and wear it as a hat. And then my other friend too, I showed her and she's like, it's so cute. And then I told them the price. 
This is $990 Canadian. Now, albeit I did get a discount on it, but still it was like 840 Canadian, which for this, like, and the crazy part is I feel like Loewe basket bags are cheaper than a lot of other brands basket bags. Like I look at, I looked at some of the St. Laurent ones and they run like 2,500 for like a basket bag for raffia it just didn't make sense. Anyway, so this is it. It's so cute, but literally it is like, I could wear this as a hat. Like it's, it's almost comical. It's so funny because my husband came home and he saw it and he's like, what's that? He's like, is that like an Easter basket? And I said, no. And then I said, you know, it's by the way, they, and he's heard me mention that brand. He's like, oh, how much was it? And I tell you, when I told him the price of it, he was shocked. He literally picked it up. He was like, this, this was a thousand dollars. And I said, yes, I told him, I'm like, I, I messed up. I thought it was the bigger version, but anyway, it is so cute. You can tell that it's made really nicely. Like compared to other raffia style bags, like, sorry, let me fix this. Compared to other raffia style bags, like you can tell like the quality of this is it's really nicely woven and I do like the new anagram print. I do like the older Loewe basket bags as well, but I really liked this new one with like the leather there and I liked the shape of this one. Um, <laughs> but like, let me open it up for you. So it just has the authenticity cards inside like this and then this is it it's just it's literally like a basket um and then you have ties here so you could tie this up the model is wearing it on her shoulder and now that i see the correct size i was looking at the wrong one <laughs> but um it's tiny on her too it's literally like i could wear this as a hat um to be completely honest it's like <laughs> Like this is like the size of a hat. Honestly, it is such an adorable bag and I feel like it's really, really well made. I mean, considering that it is, you know, made from Erica Palm um, and it's a basket bag. Uh, some of them, like I looked at some of the ones by Chloe and they just look like after wearing them like twice, they would begin to unravel. So this one actually looks like it would keep its shape fairly well. And like I said, I do really like the leather um, design here. But one thing I will say is that these straps, I wish they used the older straps. So the older straps um, are kind of like flat. So like a typical tote bag, so flat leather. And they are they make them sort of like th thicker ones as well as thinner ones. But these ones are rounded as you can see here. So they're almost like a cord, I guess you would say. Um, which is cute, like it looks really cute and the design here is really nice, but it does not stay on your shoulder. Like it will, I was wearing it earlier and now it looks like it's staying, but it sort of just falls right off because it's slippery um, because of the design. So I feel like if you're holding it by its handle like this, it's okay. But even then like this strap drop to just hold it by your hand seems a little bit big. So it almost seems like you should wear it over your shoulder, but again, the strap is just like, it's gonna fall off. Um, I feel like even if you were to weight it down, it would still, it would still just fall off because it's so slippery and it's just, it's not the best, they're not the best handles. So here is the Loewe bag on me. You can see it is super duper tiny. It does fit over the shoulder like really well, but um, it's not staying on my shoulder. Like the, sh the straps have dropped multiple times already. So um, I think even filling it up, it's just not going to stay on your shoulder, unfortunately. And you can see on my the crook of my arm, it does look really cute like this too. But again, the strap drop on it is just really, really long. So I feel like carrying it by hand is also like a little bit awkward. So you can so you can see on the crook of my arm, it looks really cute too. Um, the size of it doesn't look so, so bad. It's just like, it is really tiny. Like you could barely fit anything really in here. Um, and for the price, I just don't think it's worth it, but it does look so cute. Um, I'm going to send this back, even though it is adorable and it's cute. It's just not what I was expecting. Again, my fault. And I'm so mad because now I've lost that 15% discount. So, um, would I buy it again? I don't think I'd buy it just like I said, because of the straps, they're just not the best, unless you're just going to be carrying it in maybe the crook of your arm 
or you're holding it by the hand but this is the first item I picked up from Matches, which is sadly going back because I was honestly so excited for this handbag too. I was like telling my friend that I got a new Loewe basket bag, but oh well, my fault. All right, so the second item that I picked up from Matches are a pair of shoes by Balenciaga. They're actually not shoes, they are slides, the pool slides. So um, these are also fairly new. They are um, just like the regular pool slides, but the color of them are pretty new. And these are sold out in my size almost everywhere. This specific color, I think, because it's new and they're super cute. So they come in dust bags, obviously, which I appreciate. They come in individual dust bags. And this is the color here. So it's a new color called a beige. Um, and these are fairly expensive for pool slides. I think in Canadian dollars, it's close to like 450, something crazy like that. But I paid 255 American, so about 300 or so Canadian. So I did get a deal on them. Let me take the paper out of them. So this is what they look like here. Very basic, I mean, they're just sort of regular degular pool slides. I did get this in my typical size 38. Um, I am a size seven, so this is a 38, which would kind of be the equivalent, I think, to like a seven and a half, maybe an eight. Um, and so I have a pair of Gucci slides, they're a size 38. I have a pair of Givenchy slides, they're a size 38. My Adidas slides, I think, are all size sevens. Um, these fit small. And I should have read more reviews because a lot of people are saying they fit small. The lengthwise fits me, but the opening here, if you have very sort of narrow feet, I guess you would say this opening here is very, very small. So they feel a little bit tight because I have like this weird bone on my foot that kind of juts out and it feels a little bit tight on it. I've never had that happen with my Gucci slides or with my Givenchy slides. Those are fairly comfortable. Like sometimes my feet do slide um, as I walk, but these ones are fairly snug. And I don't know, I know other people had said that they had to break in their Gucci or break in their Givenchy. I've never had to do that. It's always been really nice, but these I feel like, I don't know if they might need some breaking in. So I'm gonna try and wear them around the house a bit more. Like I said, I really love the style of these. And I also love that they are um, this beige color which are super nice. So I don't know. I'll see. I'll read some more reviews. I really want to keep these Because um, I just think they're so Nice and they're just like basics that will go with black. I tend to wear a lot of black and white and things like that But um, and I think I got a pretty decent price for them again like They're pool sides. They really shouldn't cost more than $50, right? But um I just don't know. They're a little bit more of a snug fit here, the opening. So just know that if you are thinking about um, getting them. I'm going to read some more reviews, like I said, just to see if anyone says that they've kind of molded or stretched a little, but I just don't feel like this would stretch because it's not leather. Um, but these are also a little bit heavier, and I think it's just naturally the material that's made of. So this I know on my Gucci ones and my Givenchy ones, there's like a little bit of like a rubber or like the grippy part there. This is a little bit thicker on them, so I don't think they'd wear down kind of as much. So um, I feel like these are a little bit more heavy duty, I guess you would say, um, for pool slides. So I'm going to think about these two. I really want to keep these though. I just don't know if they're going to be the most comfortable or if these are just going to be sort of to be worn to the grocery store and not for like long periods of time. So they are super cute. Just note that, that they, the band here runs a little bit tighter. So if the Givenchy or the Gucci's didn't work for you because they're too loose, the Balenciagas were probably really, really good for you. So those are the two items that I picked up. I really hope, like I said, that I get, I still keep these ones because I think they're so cute. But the Loewe is unfortunately going back, so. That's life, say la vie, I screwed up. <laughs> anyway, if you have any questions, please leave them down below. Thank you again so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.